While night races are terrible on the nerves, they're great for getting stuff done because you have to do something with all this anxious energy. Also, new black eye. Also, new spirit animal. been trying to get back in touch with the joy of riding my bike. Kind of a weird thing, when you start racing, you get really into getting faster and faster and faster, and if you're not getting faster, it just sucks, because you're killing yourself every week, and it gets so frustrating, especially when, you know, you're, you're actually not doing as well as you were previously, which is kind of what I was experiencing last week. So, this week, I definitely focused a little bit more on some of my pain points, um, like cyclocross specific uh, intervals, but also just kind of tap back into the joy of riding a bike. All right, the sky is the color of orange sherbet, making the executive decision to go to the top of the climb this morning. I'm gonna be late for work, but you only YOLO once. There was the night race. Up, 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 up. Nice head, up! Nice head! God, you're handsome, Ed! So the thing about the night race is that it is terrifying. It's such a bad idea. I have no idea how this thing, this phenomenon started happening. That they thought, hey, here's a perfectly dangerous activity that's terrifying to do in broad daylight. Let's do it in pitch black darkness when it's wet and cold. But what's cool about it kind of is that it's so terrifying, <laughs> it's so scary that you really lose yourself in the moment. It's a really cool experience because you literally kind of become disembodied from that like, I'm a bike racer, I'm a bike racer, I'm a bike racer. And you're really in it together with all the other dudes racing, just kind of trying to survive this weird, sketchy, Spectacle. So this is 100% a night race. This isn't a twilight crit in a well-lit downtown somewhere in your municipality where everybody comes out and cheers on your favorite bike racers. This is pitch black descending off camber in a parking lot behind a Six Flags. This is terrifying. Oh, quite possibly the worst thing ever, getting your skin suit on and then breaking off one of your safety pins. But in the end, it was pretty fun. 
and my results were far better than they were last week. This week, I wanted to talk about three things that I really like that I think you should check out. If you train jujitsu, you're gonna get a black eye. Clearly, I have one right now. I was turned on to this by a couple guys at my gym. It's called Arnica. Uh, this is Arnicare specifically. It's pretty awesome stuff. So it's a sort of homeopathic uh, ointment that you put on topically, just right over the, uh, the black eye. I don't know what it does, but it literally makes your black eyes go away in about a week. This one would normally last me at least a month, um, and this clears it up super fast. So if you train, get on some Arnica. The second thing I wanna talk about is this cool, fun thing from TRX. So if you don't know, uh, TRX makes uh, like a body weight suspension training device. I've been using them since about 2008. Um, I also worked for the company for a whole while. Interesting Blake fact. Uh, but uh, they kicked me down one of these to try this weekend and it's pretty cool. Going a little stir crazy at the house right now so I'm gonna go to the park to do a workout. I'm bringing my new TRX Go suspension trainer. It's just like a regular TRX suspension trainer except it's way lighter and smaller and the straps are a little bit thinner so it looks like um, it can travel better. Still smells like fitness. So let's see if it can uh, handle a normal TRX workout. Join me on this magical journey through fitness. bundled up, it's about two-thirds the size of the full suspension trainer. The straps are a bit thinner, they're about an inch wide. Uh, it's a cool thing to use if you're traveling and um, on the go and you want to get a workout in and be able to anchor it easily and not have to worry about a bunch of bulk, but um, it's lighter and more affordable. Think about that. And the third thing I wanted to recommend is uh, the new Every Time I Die album, Low Teens. So if you are an Every Time I Die fan and maybe you've been sleeping on the past couple of records or you know you like hard music or even if you like uh, lyrical complexity, um, the new Every Time I Die record is pretty outstanding. Keith Buckley was going through some pretty interesting stuff during the making of this record. His wife got very ill um, while giving birth to his daughter, which was actually quite premature. So he was going back and forth between her hospital, uh, his wife's and his daughter's hospital, and he wrote this incredible album about mortality and fear and faith. Um, so I highly recommend checking that out. Even if you don't want to check out the album, I'd say listen to the uh, Going Off Track podcast um, with Keith Buckley on it. I'll link to it underneath. So that's my update for this week, y'all. Keep the rubber side down and I'll see you soon.